Biden holding an LA fundraiser, which Austin refused to go to. Um, this is pretty cool. White House press secretary says videos of Biden lost and confused. Are uh, ironically, fakes. several several recent chief fakes actually attack the president for thanking troops. For thanking troops, that is what they're attacking the president for. Both in Normandy, this happened, and again in Italy. And uh, I think that it tells you everything that we need to know about how um, how desperate how desperate Republicans are here. Uh, and uh, instead of talking about the president's performance in office, and what I mean by that is his legislative wins, what he's been able to do for the American people across the country, we're seeing these deep fakes, uh, these manipulated videos. Bro, that's the worst possible thing you could fucking say. Because it's not a deep fake. Just say it's cut out of context. Like, it speaks to the desperation of the Republicans. You're going to have to say that, obviously. To make it seem like Biden is like older than he actually is or his performance is bad um, because and they're they're cutting videos out of context. That part is true. OK, they are cutting videos out of context like the sit down video uh, made it seem like he was shit in his pants, which he might have. Uh, who knows? But like that he was like looking for a seat that wasn't there. Why did they, why did it look like that? Well, because they fucking cut it after he finds the seat and sits down alongside the rest of the leaders. Okay. The other video, the other video is, um, the, the, the other one was like where he's looking at the wrong parachuter where like everyone else is looking at the one guy that like, basically fucking lands in front of them the one parachuter he's looking at another guy going ah, ah and he just looks like shit he looks old as fuck you can't really fix that but there's nothing you can do they cut that also out of frame they cut the other thing that he's looking at out of frame to to make it seem like he's just looking at nothing obviously him looking in that direction is still weird as fuck and he still has the old man face you can't really save that where he just does this ah, ah, ah. You know, when you do that, it's just like you're, you look like you're wandering off no matter what. You could be going in the right direction. And if you do this, if you do that, old man face, like ultimately, you know, good luck. Yeah. I mean, dude, yeah. This is a selfie that he took with Barack Obama. Look at his mo. Okay. Look at this. Look alive. <sighs> like what are, what are we doing? What are we doing here? What the fuck's going on? <laughs> All this is so much more intense without your facial hair, I know. This shit ain't AI generated. That shit's just how he looks. He can't help it. He's old as fuck, bro. That's it. That video. That video. Okay, let's talk about Juneteenth. The president was there listening to music and he didn't dance. Excuse me. I did not know not dancing was a health Yo, issue. That video. That video was. Okay, let's talk about Juneteenth. <laughs> the president stood there listening to the music and he didn't dance. Excuse Bro, this is so, we are so cooked. We are so fucking cooked. Okay. We are so motherfucking cooked. What triggered Joe Biden to lose temper at a TikTok star and threaten to throw his phone at a White House party as the president scrambles to earn love from influencers? Speaking as a member of the press. Uh, this is Jonathan Katz, a moot of mine. Uh, he's a journalist. Pretty good. Uh, pretty good coverage overall. And he's not even like a... He's not even full blown like on the fuck Biden camp. I would go so far as say like he's done TikToks specifically talking about like how Biden is better at the end of the day than 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 um, Donald Trump. You know what I mean? He's he he does a lot of great coverage on uh, Israel. Let's see, let's see what the fuck happened here with my moot. Speaking as a member of the press. My name is Jonathan Katz. I actually live in Charlottesville. Oh, do you really? Yes. And I'm wondering why 
So you made a statement the other day about the student protesters on college campuses yes. in which you basically remarked that they were anti-Semitic protests. And I'm wondering if you still stand by that statement and also why you just signed a bill uh, giving $26 billion more to Israel in the midst of what is plausibly considered a genocide by the ICJ. The answer is twofold. Number one, Israel's security from the region is essential. It's essential. That's fundamentally different than how Israel acts in Gaza. I've been, as you probably know, putting extreme pressure on the Israelis. Damn, Israel's security is essential. <laughs> <laughs> it's essential for what, man? What are we talking about? <sighs> Look alive. He's saying Israel's security is essential. It's very different from his operations in Gaza, which is going above and beyond. Maybe not so essential. All right. Okay. As you probably know, putting extreme pressure on the Israelis to back off and open up. And he's saying he's putting extreme pressure on the Israelis to, to open up aid routes. I'm going to add that in there. Into Gaza. Humanitarian access. Open up humanitarian access. Yeah. Gaza. Open up humanitarian. Open up humanitarian access. And I think we're getting close. You basically proposed your own Gaza flotilla. Also, by the way, by the way, we he is not answering that question. He said, why? I'm from Charlottesville. Why did you say the pro-Palestinian demonstrations on campus are anti-Semitic? No answer to that whatsoever. And then the follow-up was, and the second question was basically, why are you still giving Israel $26 billion in aid? He didn't answer the, the first part at all, and he immediately went into aid. Well, it's because Israel's defense is essential. We're going to be on that. Yeah. And I'm pushing hard, and if they're not going to volunteer to do it, we're going to oppose it. But can't you use the power? I'll show you a picture of you with my, father. With my husband's my father, Bill Bader. Bill Bader. Oh, you're kidding me. No, I'm sorry. That's about good luck, man. Thank you. Thanks. Whoa, you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah Bill Bader. Yeah. Oh, I know me and I know Bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was incredible. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. He loved you. Thanks. He really loved you. Thank you. As do we. Thank you so much. Sir. We uh, read your letter to us. And it's you. Excuse me. Oh, my God. I remember. Delaware. <laughs> thank you, sir. What the fuck's going on? Why is he crying? Did his son die or something? Did that guy's son die or something? He's talking about how his... What yes. happened? I'm sorry, sir, but we have your... My dad used to, used to say, family's the beginning, the middle, and the end. Yes, sir. And I know you're a typical press guy. You're grabbing me in front of this all this stuff. And I trust you as far as I throw your phone. I can have a good arm, man. I'm sure you can. I can throw a long way. I you keep asking these questions. I'm about to throw your phone away, Jack. He's doing the look alive, fat, yes. to this guy, to Jonathan Katz. Yes, sir. And I know you're a typical press guy. You're grabbing me in front of this all this stuff. Oh, yeah, and I trust you as far as I throw your phone. I can have a good arm, man. I'm sure you can. I can throw a long way. But my point is this. Yes. I have made very clear to the Israelis what they have to do. Have you? Have you? He just got done tearing up and went into auto rage mode? Yeah. I, I got a good arm. I can throw your phone away. Wait, 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 wait. I can trust you as far as I can throw you? And I have a good arm? I just realized, doesn't that mean that you can actually fucking throw it far away as in like you trust them a lot because normally you say I can trust you as far as I can throw you and I can't throw you very far because you're a human being right but he said I can trust you as far as I can throw your phone 
and I have a really good arm, implying that he can throw the phone far away. So that means you trust him a lot. Okay, that's nice. Despite being able to throw very far, I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. Oh. <laughs> In the near term, if they don't, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Is the U.S. going to cut off funding? A lot! <laughs> I came because Thank usually you, you told me I have a nice suit and you didn't Thank comment you. on my suit today. He said, what's going to happen? A lot. Yeah, so nothing. Okay, what has happened so far? Nothing. So I am expecting the same exact nothing to continue happening. Because that's what was happening ahead of time. That's what was happening already. Red line two, baby. Can you guys just reach out there? No, no, no. Yeah. Like Thank you. Can you set that concern, please? Thank you. They so politely lead you out of there. That's pretty funny. Um, Daily uh, Daily Mail is trying to be fucking extra with it. You know, he he didn't say he's gonna fucking chuck his phone. It's not like a immediate threat to that.